Let's make a plan for the frequencies program. We'll start by figuring out what we need to keep track of. For each sentence that the user enters, we need to keep track of the number of vowels, the number of consonants, the number of digits, and anything that's not a vowel, consonant, or digit, we'll call that others. We need to keep totals for each individual sentence, and we also need the grand total. How many vowels have been entered overall? How many consonants? How many digits? And how many others? Now we need to ask the user to enter words or phrases one at a time. So let's say that the first word, first sentence that the user enters is just a single word, washer. We're going to go through that sentence one character at a time. We start with W. Is W a vowel? No. Is W a consonant? Yes, it is. So I'm going to put a hash mark there. I now have one consonant for this sentence and one all together. Move on to the next letter. Is A a vowel? Yes, it is. That means I have one vowel and one vowel for everything. Move to the next letter. S. Is S a vowel? No. Is S a consonant? Yes. I have an additional consonant and total. I move on to H. Is H a vowel? No. Is H a consonant? Yes. Move on to the letter E. Is E a vowel? Yes, it is, which means I have one additional vowel. Move on to the letter R. Is R a vowel? No. Is R a consonant? Yes. I now have that. I've hit the end of the word, and now I can print out the results for that particular sentence, which is vowels is two, consonants is four, digits is zero, and others is zero. Now I ask the user if they want another sentence, and they say, yeah, they do, and they type in the sentence, yes, comma, space, 100%. Because this is a new sentence, I'm going to wipe out these totals, but not the totals for all the sentences. They stay where they are. I now go through this letter character by character. Is Y a vowel? Well, for the purposes of this program where we say that it is, which means I have one vowel here, and I add that. Next character is E. Is E a vowel? Yes, it is. That means I have two vowels in this sentence and four vowels that I've seen so far. Is S a vowel? No. Is S a consonant? Yes, it is. And I add that hash mark. I move on to the comma. Is comma a vowel? No. Is comma a consonant? No. Is it a digit? No. That means it's an other. Move on to the space. Spaces are characters. You can't just skip over them. Is the space bar a vowel? Nope. Consonant? Nope. Digit? Nope. That means it's an other. Now I get to the one. One is not a vowel, not a consonant. It is a digit. Zero. Not a vowel, not a consonant, it is a digit. Move to the next zero. Not a vowel, not a consonant, it's a digit. Move on to the percent sign. Not a vowel, not a consonant, not a digit, it's an other. Since I hit the end of this sentence, I now want to print out these totals. For my second sentence, I have two vowels, one consonant, three digits, and three others. 
I finish this sentence and I now ask the user, do you want to enter more sentences? And they say, no, I'm finished. Thank you very much. At this point, I now turn to this grand total and then I print those out. So after this, I'm going to print out totals. I have four vowels that I've seen, five consonants, three digits, and three others. That's how you solve it by hand. Now that we understand this, we can now write down the steps that we took and put them into pseudocode, half English, half Java, and then use that as a guide to translate the program entirely into Java and make it work.